Hiya. Hey! What's up guys, it's Kate and I'm going to have another video for you guys and today I'm going to be doing a top 3 Kingdom Hearts trios. So if you haven't noticed in Kingdom Hearts, they've been known to have a lot of trios in it and they usually consist of two males and a female and uh, there's basically three main trios and I'm going to be listing off which one I like and the number 3 spot, the number 2 spot and the number 1 spot. So I just thought it'd be pretty fun to do, uh, give my reasons and yeah. And really the only reason you can give is based on the characters and uh, the role they play in the series but uh, let's start off the list with number 3. So in number 3 I have the trio of Terra, Ven and Aqua. Now uh, these are my least favorite of the trio I guess. Um, it's just that their characters to me aren't the most interesting. Uh, Ven he was kind of like a depressed kid in the story looking for friends. And he wasn't the most exciting when you compare him to other characters. Terra I really don't like him as a character that much. It kind of screwed everyone over and there really isn't much character to him if you look at the base obviously if you go deeper there is more character to him but i mean like compared to others i really don't see much character to him and aqua has the most character i feel she has the most character compared to the three but her alone can't really justify this trio to be that amazing so when it comes to all the trios i feel like terra ven and aqua would come in third place but I feel like if I'd have to rank their personalities, it would be Aqua first, number two comes Ven, and number three comes Terra. And uh, those are basically the main reason why they come at number three. They're not amazing uh, as a trio, but I feel like uh, they are the original trio after all, so we have to give them something. So yeah, Terra, Ven, and Aqua come at number three. Now in number two, we get Roxas. Axel and Shion. Now, uh, this trio I actually like a lot more. You kind of see how close they are, even though Terraven and Aqua are close. I don't know, something about their relationship, Roxas, Axel, and Shion. We kind of saw how it uh, came together, uh, how Shion was introduced, how Roxas was introduced, how Axel uh, secretly actually really wanted a friend. And because of that, it was just kind of nice with uh, the kind of dynamic they had, all three of them. Uh, I really love their personalities. Roxas, I like the personality he has. I like how Shion's kind of quiet. I like uh, Axel's personality, obviously. So when you kind of put those together, they contrast in such a way that it becomes really unique. And the story they have in uh, 350 over two days is kind of nice and like the way it ends. So uh, just like how it all plays out there, uh, the, the trio together I just really enjoyed it much more than Terraven and Aqua's and it was just nice overall their entire story in the game now I'm not gonna go into specifics what happened after 350 over two days cause all of you probably know but in case someone doesn't know I won't say it but uh, yeah that's basically uh, the main reason why I really like this trio uh, their personalities are just much more vibrant than Terra, Ven and Aqua's but if you guys do oppose so just let me know down in the comments below but basically may, uh, mainly for that reason uh, I say they're number two in my list of trios now number one it's obviously for me Sora, Riku and Kairi these are the OG people, not original as in Terra, Ven, and Aqua, they came first, but I mean like the first ones we really met in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I actually played Kingdom Hearts 2 first, so I can't really justify for Kingdom Hearts 1, but when I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I really liked uh, their designs, uh, their personalities, who can hate Sora's personality. Uh, Kairi's kind of like a damsel in distress usually, but then other than that, uh, she's also nice, and also Riku, he is my favorite character in Kingdom Hearts. So when you kind of put it like that, the personalities are nice, Riku is my favorite character, they really have to be at number one for me, there's really nothing opposing that. So yeah, Sora, Riku, and Kairi do come at number one. Uh, also, from the three trios, I do like the designs the best, as in like clothes and how they look. Uh, I feel like they're the most interesting and the most dynamic in designs. Uh, it's got that really Tetsuya Nomura feel. And we didn't really get that with the other ones. We did get that with Terra, Ven, and Aqua, but at the same time, since it was on the PSP and since it, didn't, it had hardware limitations, they couldn't go as crazy as they wanted to on the clothes. And because of that, we kind of saw them looking more dull than how Sora Riku and Kairi looked. And with obviously her Roxas action on Shion, they're all wearing the organization suit. So. That kind of obviously looked a bit more dull. So when it comes to Sora, Riku, and Kairi, not only are their personalities good, the way the designs are, and overall, I just really like their uh, trio much better than any of the other ones, and they just have to come at number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top three. Let me know down below which ones you like the best. Uh, did you like Sora, Riku, Kairi, Roxas, Axel, or Shion, or Tenvir and Aqua? Uh, tell me the order, and let me know why. Give me some reasons, and I'll be sure to read them. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and remember the possibilities for Kingdom Hearts are unlimited. Later.